Huge thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. They definitely helped to add a modern touch to some of the footage you're about to see. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to 2.36 p.m. on July 31st, 2015. My name is Scott, I'm the founder and author of Sandspotter.com, and yeah, I'm redoing one of my first, and worst, airline videos that I've ever done. Allegiant Airlines, flight number 232 from San Diego, California to Bellingham, Washington. FYI, this isn't really a review, but more of an editorial piece, actually. First of all, you're gonna have to forgive me here. Back when I first started making videos, it just felt natural to get clips of absolutely everything. Well, everything except the really important stuff, that is. I kid you not, I shot more footage driving to the airport than I did of the actual flight itself. If you're just getting started making airline and travel videos yourself, don't do that. Anyway, I'm going to put all these pointless video clips to good use as background visuals in this video. I don't have enough content for a proper review, but I do have enough to build a platform upon which I can stand on to tell you all the reasons why you need to keep an eye on Allegiant Air. Long story short, I personally feel they are positioned quite well to emerge from this whole COVID-19 situation stronger than pretty much any other airline. was I thinking to skip getting footage of the ticket counter, only to turn around and record over 10 gigabytes of footage of me removing my belt at the security checkpoint. <sighs> but anyway, what's the first reason why Allegiant is likely to come back strong? Two words, leisure travel. It's what they specialize in, and it's the kind of traffic that I believe is going to recover the fastest. back, there was so much I didn't know way back in 2015. Not only did I not understand how important footage of a ticket counter can be in a trip report, I also had no freaking clue what a VPN was. Can you imagine how much better and safer my digital life would be if I had access to Surfshark back then? For those that don't know, Surfshark is an award-winning VPN which encrypts everything that is transmitted to and from your devices, such as usernames, passwords, questionable pics, <laughs> etc., through a private and secure tunnel. Your business is nobody else's, and Surfshark will protect your valuable data from prying eyes. Not only that, you can virtually change your location using Surfshark, which will allow you to access blocked content while traveling. Going to China, but you're hopelessly addicted to Instagram and Twitter? You're gonna need Surfshark for that. Anyway, Surfshark and I have teamed up once again to offer the Sandspotter audience another incredibly good deal. Simply sign up using the link in the description below, using the promo code SCOTT, and you're going to get 85% off your entire subscription. Not only that, you're going to get three months extra for free. Totally free. And now, from one good deal to another, back to the Allegiant Air content. This is where it all began, folks. As you can see, even though I'm not holding a health witch in this clip, <laughs> the stone-cold posing for the camera thing was developed very early on in Sandspotter history. Speaking of history, Allegiant Air has been around since about 1997, and the current CEO, Maury Gallagher, stepped in when the company fell on bad times back in 2004. He's an experienced businessman who knows how to take advantage of ugly situations, and he's not afraid to pivot and get scrappy when necessary. Unlike me, who seems to have difficulty letting go of bad habits. You want to know something else about Maury? 
He personally owns 20% of Allegiant Air, and I don't know about you, but any profitable business that I own 20% of is going to get a lot of my attention. And since I'm on the topic of things that get my attention, here's a nice little blast from the past coming in hot for gate number 35. Can't you totally smell the mood lighting just by looking at it? Here it is. The livery that just screams $19 flights and poop stains on the seats. Okay, yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of the livery, but the Allegiant Air business model is solid and there won't be any jokes from me about that. Well, maybe not any, but definitely less. Seriously? I recorded the entire drive to the airport, but I didn't get any footage of the boarding process. I'm seriously amazed that anyone subscribed to my YouTube channel back then. I did take a bunch of pictures though, but naturally, half of them turned out blurry. Located at rest, 12, 14, and two doors in the back. Each door is a person's evacuation. Find all exits are marked to the right. How else is Allegiant Air going to be well positioned for a post-COVID-19 comeback? Well, fire sale prices on used aircraft. They've made huge strides over the past few years modernizing their fleet, and they are going to be able to scoop up more aircraft at fire sale prices as other airlines downsize and move through bankruptcy. As I said, Maury is a very scrappy dude, and it's going to be interesting to see what he does. Speaking of guys with names that end in Ori, did you know that Rory from the Trips with Rory YouTube channel uploaded his very first video exactly 544 days after I took this flight? I don't know, but I think he's doing it better than I am. I mean, I've watched nearly every single one of his videos and I've never once had to fast forward over footage of him driving to the airport. <laughs> Believe it or not, that crying sound you just heard was not me. However, it was most likely one of the Allegiant Air shareholders who weren't too happy about the company's investment in Sunseeker Resorts at the time. It was a total waste of resources, and the good news is that they've backed out of the deal. Now, they're back to focusing on what they do best, being a budget airline serving secondary markets with an ugly livery. The little boy isn't crying anymore, which no doubt means that he's just learned that business is recovering nicely here in 2020 as the pandemic is winding down. In early March of this year, Allegiant Air was making only $250,000 in daily bookings. By late April, they were back up to $750,000 a day. They've got a long way to go before getting back to the $5.5 million per day they were making a year ago, but don't worry, I fully believe that Maury has got this. You know, I haven't flown since this whole pandemic started, but <laughs> ain't no way I'm going to touch a filth-ridden in-flight magazine like this when I return to the skies. I am going to eat, though. Like, hardcore, which maybe is an inappropriate word to use since I just mentioned something about filth-ridden magazines. Okay, moving on. One of the other things that I really like about Allegiant Air is the fact that they fly to really obscure places. No offense to those of you who live in Concord, North Carolina, and McAllen, Texas, of course, but I'm just saying that, thanks to Allegiant Air, I've never been more tempted to come and see what your town is all about. Especially now that international travel is so difficult. Get ready, y'all. The Sandspotter U.S. tour is imminent. FYI, if you're sick and tired of watching rehashed content like this, and you want to see content from recent flights, do yourself a huge favor and go and check out QFS Aviation. He just took a ride on the very last Delta MD-88, and well, 
it looked like a heck of a lot more fun than taking a ride on an Allegiant Air flight up to Bellingham. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Welcome to BLI. I don't recall exactly what the time was, but I do know that it was late enough for the local Chipotle to be closed. <laughs> Maybe that's why this flight was so cheap? Whatever. I may have been denied a tasty chicken and rice bowl, but I did learn that Legion Air ain't so bad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bellingham, the local time here is 5.845. For your continued safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated. In summary, it's going to be really fun to see how Allegiant rebuilds their business as the COVID-19 situation winds down. They seem to be on the right track, and with so many people being especially price conscious due to a shaky economy, they seem to be primed for explosive growth. To the residents of Concord, North Carolina and McAllen, Texas, watch out. I'm coming for you. Wait, before you go, I just need to put my amazing patrons in the spotlight for being so incredibly awesome. To Andrew Laybourne, Flyin' Wyland, and everyone else, thanks so much for your continued support. I'm hoping to get back in the air soon, and I cannot wait to pick up where I left off earlier this year. Until then, thanks for watching, and... <laughs> I really need to come up with a different outro, don't I? On behalf of your entire Billing Camp flight crew, thank you for flying with us this evening. It's been our pleasure serving you, and we hope the next time you travel, you'll choose another Legion flight.